false teeth, and a wheelbarrow. Once upon a time, said Grandad, everyone used to go by boat between Auckland and Wellington. Before cars were invented, oh, lots of people had cars. Then why didn't they drive? Roads weren't invented yet. The cars sat in their sheds, and the owners went and sat in the cars and tooted the horn from time to time. Well, that wasn't much use. People buy cars to show how important they are. The bigger the car, the more important the owner. Before roads were invented, rich people built big car sheds and bought huge cars with very loud horns. They sat in their fat cars and tooted their horns and were very important. Grandad laughed. Now, what was I telling you about? About the olden days when roads weren't invented and everyone went by boat between Auckland and Wellington. Ah, that's right. I went down to the wharf one day to meet your grandmother off the Wellington steamer. She was so seasick, she cried and begged, Do something about it. That's when I decided to invent the first road. I chopped down trees, dug cuttings, and filled in swamps, built bridges across creeks, and turned rivers so they ran the other way, and all on my own. All on your own? Your grandmother wasn't much use, because she was still seasick. I had no hammer. No axe, and no shovel. Why not? They hadn't been invented. All I had was my wheelbarrow, so building bridges was tricky. I needed both hands to hold up the heavy beams, and when I went down to nail them together, I had to let go, and they fell down. What did you do? I unscrewed my left hand, put it back on the other way around, to hold up the heavy beams, while I hammered in the nails with my right hand. Grandad held up his left hand, backwards, and hammered with his right. I held up my own left hand, turned it around backwards, and hammered with my right. I could see what Grandad meant, but something wasn't right. How did you hold the nails in place? I put them in my mouth, and I spat them into the wood, and then I hammered them home. But hammers weren't invented. I knocked in the nails, chopped down the trees, dug the cuttings, and scooped the dirt into the wheelbarrow with these. Grandad took out his false teeth. Worn right down to the gums. Before I started making the road, my teeth were this long. He held his hands wide apart. But your left hand, it isn't on backwards now. I screwed it back the right way around when I finished building the road from Auckland to Wellington. Did you buy a car? I already had a car in the car shed. Did you used to sit in it and toot the horn? Often. And did you drive it on the road you'd invented? tooting all the way. I bet Granny was pleased she didn't have to get seasick every time she went to Wellington. There's no satisfying some people. My road had too many corners and made her car sick, and all the tooting gave her a headache. Tea's poured, Granny called. Come and drink it while it's still hot. Grandad popped his teeth back in and snapped them at me. Better not go telling her what we've been talking about. Why not? You know your grandmother, she'll just say it's all nonsense.